Hi YouTube, this is our third video of how of the tutorial how to program Zelio logic. In this video, we will go a step further than the second video. We will use a delay of timer so to be sure that the motor have stopped. This we will do it to use time to secure that the motor is stopped. So, with this way, we will be sure that uh, we, we won't have a uh, starting that uh, violates the motor and probably make us problems with the motor or with the mechanical system which drives the motor. Let's uh, make our ship with more safe for the motor. First of all we will need a timer, a delay of timer. Let's, uh, let's configure the timer. We want delay of with the unit of seconds. Let's say that we will restart our motor at every direction after 10 seconds the motor uh, we will need an OR block here it is we will drive the time timer here's the first here's my here is the first, here is the second, input of the OR function block. Also we will need a NOT function block for the timer. The NOT function block will be input at these two add function blocks let's make it more clear um, the timer will be resetted by the overload conduct if we have an overload to restart the motor we will not need any time to wait we will need a not function block again and here it is now let's simulate our circuit to see if we reach our goal our goal is when we press the stop button then we can restart the motor in any di direction after 10 seconds waiting time let's run the simulation the motor is starting forward if we press the reverse button nothing happens we haven't lose any of the former functionality of our circuit let's press stop the motor can't start on any direction until we 10 seconds passed now we can start let's stop it we wait 10 seconds And then we can restart the motor. Let's start the motor. And let's use the overload contact to see what happens. After we reset the error of overload, we can start immediately. 
we stop the motor, we wait 10 seconds, and then we can start again. This is this was our goal. This is a more safe automation circuit than the others that we have made already. At our next video we will represent a more complex application. An application that could be used at real world at real world world and see how to program and how we will face up the problem. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.